Hello, this is Guitar Harpsichord. Here's my uh, Profit 08. I'm using that. With the computer here, I'm trying to get a screenshot of Contact Player 4. It's a free demo or a free free application. Uh, this factory selection sounds are, are free. They come in a demo form. I don't know how long they last, so I thought I'd make a quick uh, comment on the product here. It comes up on the screen a little bit big, so you can hardly see the, the keyboard at the bottom. And there's a re way to reformat that. I'm going to try that now. Okay, click on Options, and you get this, and it says drag the lower right corner to resize the window or reset the size. Let's see. Reset the size. That, that worked okay. And uh, that's where it originally came in. We'll close that. What else we got here? I'm going to show you our audio. We're using 512 samples, 44,100 sample rate. And uh, there's supposed to be a latency uh, adjustment here, but apparently on this demo there isn't, so run with these sounds whatever MIDI I've got the emu uh, I'm running from MIDI to uh, USB here with the emu X MIDI it's plugged in right here and uh, so if you have USB you don't have to worry about that but this shows you that the profit actually can control this here so okay let's bring up some sounds here instruments it comes up like this vintage you click on vintage here and this will show you ex exactly what you get the factory selection so let's see let's start with the synth here let's let's see we just double click on that it should go over there nope not going it usually does but i didn't probably just didn't hit it right So there's a sound for you, and uh, let's see what we got here, we're throwing some drum kit with it. When this comes in here, it pops underneath it, there it is. Okay, it's set up to MIDI channel 2, it's not going to play. So you got to move it to either the same MIDI channel or to Omni, we'll set it to Omni here. And Okay. There's our drum kit. All right, let's get a another lead in here, huh? This is in a retro mono lead. Okay, we'll hit Omni again. Okay, there you go. So there you got a multi setup already here. At least, and you can go into your other categories here and pick something else, huh? Let's throw in a a string orchestration, sort of a mellotron kind of thing. Comes up down here in a different uh, in the vintage uh, rack, huh? Okay, Omni again. I'm going to solo this so you can hear it. Shows a maximum polyphony at 32. Okay, now we'll We'll hear it with the rest of the rack here. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to bring in the, the prophet. I had the prophet uh, in my, through my mixer here. Here's the prophet. Okay, so that goes to show, but I'll tell you one thing here is that what, you got to watch your volume levels here. I don't know what your controller will do. Here's the volume setting on these. Well, if I use the volume on my profit, they automatically turn all the way down, so all of a sudden you have nothing. And to get it back up there, you really got to crank on the profit, so uh, there must be a way to adjust that, but... Otherwise, you got to go back into all these and turn them up to match the profit's volume. One at a time. Little inconvenience, but I and this uh, demo mode doesn't exactly help here. So if you get the sounds, if you already have some sounds that work with the contact player, you're gonna do just fine I guess here we also got some world sounds let's just hear one huh I have no idea what this is Oop. sure it would tell me if I look there's info coming up on the bottom there but there's lots of extras here to things to experiment with that's solo this that's probably not it let's see that was the profit have to turn the profit down okay we'll turn this back up nice sounds here we've got some pretty good sounds in here Okay, I just thought I'd, I'd give you an idea what this is like. If you, I've, this is the first time I download a demo. It's about a gig in size. There's a few different cat ways to look at things here, and I'm sure everybody can figure these things out without much trouble at all. Here's the modules that you can adjust the uh, different effects. Uh, however, it seems in this demo mode it doesn't want to do anything. Here it says drag right there, and click or whatever, and here. Not getting any editing capabilities. Here's some instrument options. There's also another way to get into these tweaking these things here, with these options right underneath the GUI, whatever this is called here. Here we got your options for different things. You gotta a lot of options here to tweak it up. So I just thought it that's for MIDI. Get browse here. No. Okay, I just thought I'd go through it real quick if you if you wanna spend some time with this or buy some of their products well they're worth looking into I found it on CNET and you can get it on Native Instruments website free okay thanks for watching